Hey, what's up guys? This is Sin Fredo checking in with you guys. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a whole bunch of decorations you could do at your house with uh, things you could get from the dollar store. Let's get started. For this first decoration, all you need is some dental floss, some tissue, and some cotton balls. And what we're going to make is some ghosts. Pretty neat decorations to put around your house, I think. Everybody that I bring around my house seems to like them too. The first thing you wanna do is just take a cotton ball, doesn't matter what size, and a piece of tissue, and then all you do is just put the cotton ball in the center of it, just like that. And then you wanna take a little piece of dental floss, and based on how high you want them to go or how low, like if you see up there, there's a little one that's way at the top. Uh, I put a little bit of floss on him. And these other ones, I use a lot of floss. So whatever uh, size you want them to be from the top to bottom, that would be up to you. I'll just go with the little piece just like that. And so once you got your piece, you wrap that cotton ball around just like this. And then you just take your floss and you want to wrap that around his head. So once you finish wrapping them, then he's ready to go to be hung. But what you can also do is put a face on him, just like I did with these guys here. This one's happy and this one seems to be crying. And uh, whatever your imagination wants, you just put whatever you want. So he's not smiling or he's not sad. So once you're ready to go, you just clear the clear tape tape them to the top like that and you got another little ghost as a decoration which is pretty neat for this next decoration i'm going to show you guys how to take a little pumpkin like this and uh make it a candle holder for your house i got this little tool from the dollar store what you want to do is just take it you want to poke it in him just like this and you want to cut around him in a circular motion all right, so I've got the circle, now I just pop it out, just like that. And then you take your candle, and you just snug it in there, just like this. And then you wanna take your lighter, light that up, just like that. And I'm gonna turn off the lights to show you what it should look like. You guys could put these in your windows or outside your doors. You could also use these little pumpkins as a walkway for the little trick-or-treaters to find their way to your front door which I think is really neat. And I think they would really like that. So there you go, guys, the little mini pumpkin candle holder. Pretty nice. All right, guys, so for this next decoration, you need a medium-sized pumpkin. And uh, these are actually cookie cutters, but they're in decorations of a bat and a pumpkin. And the neat thing about these is that they make it so easy for you to put your favorite decoration on your pumpkin instead of like struggling with it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So all you need is just basically this cookie cutter. This is in the shape of a pumpkin, exactly like this one. And you just take it, you wanna lay it on the flattest surface of the pumpkin. And you wanna take a, usually a hammer, but I'm gonna use this weight right here. And you just start pounding it into the pumpkin, just like this. Just like that. And it should start penetrating the pumpkin. You can put it as far in as you want. You don't necessarily have to, but once it makes its actual shape on the pumpkin, then you can just take um, a knife. Once you pull this thing back out, you can see the shape that I already created on it. And to gut that out, all you could do is just take a little uh, pumpkin carving knife and just carve into it. Makes it a lot easier. Go over the outline and voila. There's your piece right there. These are all the guts in here. You could just cut that out if you choose to. So I finished the back side of the pumpkin and I put the bat on there, the bat cookie cutter, and that's what it came out like. You can see it's the bat and it came out really good. So I'm actually gonna put a candle and we're gonna light it just so you can see what it's gonna look like once your product is done. And there you go, guys. So you got the nice bat outline. You got your little candle on there. So when trick or treaters or anybody visiting you sees this, they're gonna be pretty impressed of how good the outline actually came out. For this next decoration, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a jack-o'-lantern that's gonna be barfing onto this plate as an 
actual appetizer for your guests. Like say you're having a party or you just want it for show or just to impress somebody. For me, it would be a girl. <laughs> I'm just gonna make this little jack-o-lantern into a barfing jack-o-lantern uh, using just guacamole and some chips. And it's gonna look pretty cool. So first you wanna take your little jack-o-lantern and uh, paint a face, a barfing face on him, uh, a face of disgust which to me that would be like this, which would be X's, just like that. And you wanna do another one on this side. Then you wanna draw the mouth, which is gonna be the opening where the guac is gonna come out of. And you wanna probably do a frown. So he looks like he's sick for one. So let's start cutting out his mouth. And I'm just gonna use this little tool right here. And I'll start right here in the corner, just like that and I'll start carving out his mouth. And once I'm done hitting the corner, his mouth should pop out rather easily. It's already coming out like right now. All right, perfect. You see? So we got his mouth open already. I'm gonna cut the top off to cut all his insides out. And I'll probably use this knife. And same thing, once you hit the other end, he should it should rather pop out really easily. Just like that. So there goes the top. And to gut them out, I would use a spoon. So you just take your spoon, almost like you're eating cereal. Once he's done, he's already been gutted out. You wanna lay him on this plate right here, since he's a decoration. And then you wanna take your guacamole, cut it open, and you wanna start pouring the guacamole over the top of his head just like this, it goes in him, just like that. I don't know if you can see on that side, but he's starting to get super stuffed. You can see guys, it looks nasty, but it's, it's like he's throwing up. So once he's completely full, you can take the same spoon and push that guac down. And it should come out of his mouth just like that. <laughs> so in a sense, it's like he's throwing up the guac for your guests to come and enjoy. Then you wanna take your other guacamole. And this is gonna be the one that your guests actually get to eat out of. You just wanna pour that around that, just like this. So now it seems as though, even though it's nice, guacamole and it's good for chips it looks like the pumpkin was the one that barfed it out <laughs> so once your guac's out like that and you can take a bag of chips or bottle like this and you can spread the chips around just like that so now what you got is a barfing jack-o-lantern so why not take one and enjoy it so here we go Real good stuff. For this last decoration, it's going to be a witch crashing at your house. And this is what it's gonna look like. And all you need basically is just a black construction paper and a white construction paper. Based on your wall, at your house like for example my wall is white so I went with the white construction paper now if your wall is blue or beige then you probably want to go with that construction paper and so you need these two construction papers and two rolls of napkins and if you want to get fancy with it then I've got these fancy socks and these uh, witch boots to make it look a little bit cooler first you want to take your black construction paper, put it on the bottom of the white one. If you have an X-Acto knife at, at your house, then you probably wanna take it and carve these broken down pieces of drywall with this X-Acto knife, just as I did earlier. And you pop that out and it's gonna look like this. It gives it a cool effect. And then you wanna take your rolls and you wanna cut about an inch into them, just like this. You wanna do that about four, three to four times. And so you bend those like this, just like that. 
then you want to take your sock and then you're going to put the sock over it and shove that sock down just like that all the way to the bottom and then whatever remains you could just tuck in just like this next you want to take your boot and then you want to put that piece into the boot so luckily this boot has a little opening so i'm gonna use that and i just put my roller in half of the back of the flap that you didn't mess with you want to cut that part off just as i'm doing here so it doesn't get in your way once you're hanging it on the wall and so for the flaps that are hanging like this obviously it's going to look really bad if you if you leave it like that so what you want to do is you could color with the marker or you can take black tape just like i'm doing here and you can just cover over it just like that so you get the idea that you can just cover it with tape or a marker will work as well. And then the, the sock will cover the rest of the top part. And you do that for the remainder too. So when you've got all your tape on there, just as I did here, the next step would be to take your construction paper and tape the white one to the black one as I already did. Once that's already done, the next step would be to, to put the whole leg onto the construction paper, just like this. And the easiest way to do it would be with hot glue. So you take your hot glue and you want to flip it and put it on the bottom of the the witch's leg, just like this, which is going to go on the flaps here. Just rub that on there real good. You take it and you flip it over, pick the middle spot, and then you just press down firmly till she's nice and tight on there. So you just take your other leg and you, once you've applied the glue, you just do the same thing, press down firmly. The last part would be to take the whole project and stick it to your wall. Or you can choose to hang it on your front door, which would be really cool too, because anybody that comes to your house, it looks like a witch crashed your party. But for this one, I'm gonna hang it on this wall here. And to hang it on the wall, I'm gonna use uh, push pins for that. You can use whatever method is easiest for you, but for me, I'm gonna use push pins. And you just apply your push pins on here, one by one. You wanna make sure your surface gets flattened out. All right guys, so once you've finished putting all your push pins in, I've already uh, done in all the corners. This is what you get right here. So it looks like the witch just flew in and just crashed into your wall and the white construction paper makes the black construction paper look like a hole and so the legs sticking out it probably look a lot better in your front door but this is this is not a bad place to put it as well so there you go guys the uh, witch crashing the party or crashing your house all right guys so this has been sin fatal for cynix tv and these have been a whole bunch of decorations that i hope you enjoy and i hope you have fun doing them as i did and I hope you like them and I hope you subscribe for more. There'll be a lot more that I put out. And so this has been Sin Fatal and I'm out.